so I'm back to do my 36 week update. I am actually 36 weeks and six days today. So this video is going to be late. But anyways, um, this will probably be the, the shortest video I ever do. <laughs> um, as far as 36 weeks goes, it's been going pretty well. Um, I've been having a lot more um, contractions. Some are not Braxton Hicks. I can tell the difference. You know, Braxton Hicks, your stomach just tightens up. You don't really feel them. You could just, you you know, you're having a contraction because you can feel um, either your stomach tighten up or just t by touching your belly, your belly's hard, so you know that you're having a contraction. Um, but these contractions, they have been coming. And like I said, I think I've been, I started having... Braxton Hicks contractions around like 28 weeks but then the real contractions I think started to come around 33 34 but they weren't consistent or anything like that which these aren't consistent either they're just like picking up um some pick up as far as like um pain level goes it picks up tightening goes picks up but they haven't um gotten down to two to three minutes apart or anything like that i think the closest i seen them or felt them or maybe like 10 to 15 maybe 20 minutes apart um but they are real contractions they're not the braxton hicks contractions um what else so I had my doctor's appointment on Thursday, and uh, that's when I took the strep B test, which I have not gotten the results back yet, but hopefully um, I pass them. That way I don't have to be hooked up to the IV at all. Um, that would be awesome, but um, I don't know. The odds are open because I think I was positive with my daughter but negative with my son so <laughs> um what else I got weighed and I'm still 132 pounds so I think my last um my last doctor's appointment was at 34 weeks and I was 132 pounds and um which is good. I think I gained like some ounces or something like that. So, but I'm not really uh, sure about the ounces, like how many ounces. Um, what else? I told him about my concerns, like about my contractions or whatever. And so he decided to check me and I am three centimeters dilated, you guys. Um, which is crazy because I just wasn't expecting that. I... I just, I don't know, like I was expecting to just still be closed. I was closed at 34 weeks, so I was expecting to be closed at 36 weeks, but I'm not. Um, I don't know. And what I've been doing for the most part is basically just walking around my house. My house is kind of semi big or whatever. Of course, I hit like circles really fast, but um i just been walking around my house um drinking red raspberry leaf tea and that's pretty much it so i haven't been doing anything too extreme um i'm just guessing that you know baby is almost ready to come so we shall see but i won't get my hopes up or anything like that just because due to the fact that um, I know that just because I'm dilated now um, doesn't mean she's necessarily coming, which I'm not full term until tomorrow, but you, yeah, so I won't be full term until tomorrow, but yeah, so I'm super, super excited to report that. And that's pretty much it for this update. Um, I will give you a belly shot, and then I will see you for week 37. Bye, guys.
Okay, so this is Belly from the front with shirt on. And I definitely think she has dropped to me. She looked like she has dropped. I didn't actually feel like that lightning feel. But I do think she's dropped. I also, um, she gave me stretch marks, you guys. Um, they're down, like, somewhere yonder. <laughs> I can't really see them. But, yeah, she did give me stretch marks. And she is still happily head down. So that's belly for 36 weeks.